Shalom Yiladim. It's time to finish setting our Seder table. We already have our Ke'ara, our Seder plate, on our table. We already have our Kosot that we're going to drink. And now we're going to see what else is on our Seder table. Well, we have a very beautiful, beautiful cup on our table. A cup that is filled with wine, but nobody drinks it. Who does this cup belong to? This is the cup of Eliyahu Hanavi. It is called a Kos Shel Eliyahu, the cup for Eliyahu. Why do we have a cup for Eliyahu on our table? We don't have a cup for Moshe Rabbeinu, and we don't have a cup for Yitzchak Avinu, or for Yosef. Why a cup for Eliyahu? Because Eliyahu Hanavi has a very special job to do that hasn't been done yet. He is going to come and announce when the Mashiach is here. He's going to announce for us all to go to Yerushalayim. And it's going to be an amazing day when that happens. That is one of the promises that Hashem made to us when we came out of Mitzrayim. He already kept four of those promises. And the fifth one is going to Eretz Yisrael in the time of Mashiach and having a Beit HaMikdash. The Hevesi. And I will bring you everything that you can imagine. All the things that you ever wished for. And who's going to be the messenger? Who's going to be the shaliach? Eliyahu Hanavi. So when we talk about the promises and we drink wine for all the promises that Hashem already made for us, we are hoping that Hashem listens and gives us our fifth promise. The promise that Emir Tzah Hashem, He will bring Mashiach and bring us to Eretz Yisrael. And who is going to do that for us? Who's going to announce? Eliyahu. And we are hoping every Pesach Seder night, when we have our Seder, when we open the door and we invite Eliyahu Anavi to come to our Seder, we're hoping that he's going to have a great announcement. Maybe this year he'll have that great announcement for us. The next thing on our Seder table is a Haggadah. A Haggadah is the book that we read that tells us exactly what to do, all the brachos to say, and the story of Pesach. Some of us have Haggados that are full of divrei Torah for our mommies and daddies and big brothers and sisters. And some of you will have beautiful Haggadot with pictures so that you can follow along. A very important part of our table is the matzah. We can't have a Seder without matzah. So, some people have square matzot on their table. Some people will have round matzot on their table. But everyone is going to have matzot. How many matzot are going to be on our table? There are going to be three. Three matzot. One matzah is going to be reminding us of the Kohanim. Our middle matzah is going to remind us of our Levim. And the bottom matzah is going to remind us of all the Israelim. And what does Hashem want from us? He wants us to put all the groups together because that's how we came out of Mitzrayim. We came out Ba'achtus. We were all together. One people. So now we take our matzot and we put them all together. Either in a special matzah holder or under our Seder plate.